Good morning. Uh, this is Franco Cevolini. I'm the CEO of CRP Technology. CRP Technology is a company born in 1996. Uh, we started to do SLS uh, laser sintering, selected laser sintering in Italy, where it was almost unknown. So immediately I started to work in the development on new materials in order to improve the mechanical, thermal and chemical performance of the materials, because our idea was not to use uh, just uh, as, uh, as a rapid prototyping technology, but to to use this technology as a manufacturing technology, so an additive manufacturing technology. Windform is the name of a family of materials. Basically, we are talking about uh, uh, thermoplastic materials. So far, we can define them as nylon-based material, reinforced with carbon fibers or any other fillers in order to improve the mechanical performance of the material. Windform XT was uh, presented in, in this, uh, in this uh, show in 2005, and uh, at that time was the first material uh, for a selected laser sintering reinforced with the carbon fibers. Now we have the second version, Windform XT 2.0. It's a material that is widely used in, uh, in automotive, but not only. We have also a uh, successful application in aerospace and also in uh, um, medical applications. Obviously, as I said, uh, we talk about a family of materials, so there are many different types of uh, wind form. Uh, we have some materials that are waterproof, other materials that are uh, uh, rubber-like materials, other, other versions that are insulating materials. And so this is uh, 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 a wide portfolio available for, uh, for, for the customer in order to, to let them to select the right material for their application. If we have a look, uh, for example, at this part, uh, this is uh, a motorbike part. Uh, the technology that has been used uh, to produce uh, the first prototypes but also the first uh, uh, small production of the bike because as you can see the mold for uh, uh, creating this part just uh, from a traditional injection molding technology is very complicated this technology we had the time to explore the market uh, to understand if we what we produced was uh, good or not in order to have uh, now the parts ready for the mass production and this is something that is very useful when you have to develop a new part and you have to study the, uh, the performance of the engine and how to improve the performance. But at the same time, here you have a real production part. So this is, a, uh, let's say, a part that is uh, used in the hybrid cars, power cables. If you have a look to the geometry, the complexity of the geometry, you can understand that it is almost impossible to produce this part with any other technology. So in this case, the client is taking the advantage of combination between Windform and the additive manufacturing, in this case, the selective laser sintering. So we're talking about aerospace components. So again, it is not so easy uh, having uh, uh, this part made by additive manufacturing because uh, you need uh, specific certification of the material. One of the most important is the outcasting. We had successfully achieved with uh, uh, NASA, ESA and, and the JAXA. In this case, we are talking about parts that so far they are in the space. One of the most important is the CubeSat deployer. That is uh, the, the bigger part here. This is a device that deploy small sats in the space. This is very important, this kind of technology, because uh, first of all, you are using a, a composite material, so, so a very light material. And it is important because in this way you can reduce the cost because you pay for the volume, but also for the weight of the parts that you deploy in the space. In this case, we are talking about Windform GT, that is uh, a quite flexible material reinforced with uh, glass fibers. For example, if we have a look to the AFO, that is the ankle foot orthosis, this is a specific design where we take the advantage of the technology and the material performance. In this case, we can help uh, people that has uh, this specific deficit uh, because uh, we can help them in walking without uh, constraining the movement in a, in a other direction. We had. We have been treated 14 patients. Now we are just waiting for the last one, uh, together with the uh, Rizzoli Hospital in Bologna, in Italy. And uh, it is a custom made, so 
as you can see it is very thin so you can just wear it without showing uh, that you are using this specific device you can uh, use traditional shoes so no medical shoes and uh, so at the end the comfort and the uh, and the functionality of the part uh, is uh, maximized Energica is uh, uh, an electric uh, uh, motorbike produced in uh, in Italy, Modena, and uh, they are doing uh, uh, great products using a lot of our wind form materials, not only for the prototypes, but also for the production. As you can see here with this bike, there are many parts that are produced with uh, SLS technology and wind form, and we are talking about uh, the fairings, the lamp supports, some parts inside the battery because we have also insulating materials that are suitable for this specific application so many parts of this bike are uh, are produced using our uh, technology quality is very important also because it is something that uh, uh, characterizes our job and we have uh, a very strict a set of parameters that we keep under control during the printing and that we verify on the fly inside the machine. Already, additive manufacturing is, uh, we can define it as a sustainable technology because you have less waste, you, are no, you have no uh, permanent mold, so it is for sure a, a lean technology and so more sustainable. But what I can tell you is that uh, in uh, CRP technology now we are also uh, mm, uh, working in, um, in the direction of improving uh, much more the sustainability. Very soon we will have a solar panel that uh, we will use uh, to, uh, as, an energy, uh, as energy for our production. And now we are also investigating the possibility of giving a second life to the uh, unused powders. So we are expanding a lot our operation. As you know, we have a company located in Italy, but we have another division in the United States, in North Carolina. The name is, uh, is uh, CRP USA. Now, last year, we opened also in uh, Dubai, CRP Gulf. And the idea is, uh, in the let's say near future to open also a new division around the world in order to expand our activity and uh, and to let uh, our products to to be, to, to be available uh, worldwide